Hey guys, welcome back to program of and today in this episode we're going to talk about which configuration of the laptop for the M1 Pro you should go along with. Whether you should choose the 16 gigabytes of RAM or whether you should go along with the 32 gigabytes of RAM or even higher than that. So what configuration you should choose and what's my perspective and my experience with the new MacBook Pro 16 inch with the M1 Pro processor. So we'll be talking about everything in this episode. So guys, before we even start up with the video for the M1 Pro processor based MacBooks that is 16 inch and 40 inch models, I would like to talk about the MacBook Air that comes with an 8 gigabytes of RAM. So guys, I've been using the MacBook Air for a quite period of time and the all in all experience that I had with the base model of MacBook Air that comes with an 8 gigabytes of RAM. So that was really good because I had been doing some programming stuff onto that as well as doing some video editing and most of the tasks that i used to do on or perform on that machine was really good so the entire performance even with the eight gigabytes of unified memory was really good and really awesome so there had been very little amount of time i can say that the processes or the tasks were actually stuttering or there was an issue or they were not snappy enough otherwise eight gigabytes served me really well now let's move on to the new macbook pros with the 14 inch model and the 16 inch model that comes along with an M1 Pro or M1 Max processor uh, and the base model variant for all these machines come within 16 gigabytes of RAM. So if we talk about this configuration or let's say my experience with the MacBook Pro 16 inch, the base model variant that comes along within 16 gigabytes of RAM. So I've been using this machine for over a period of a month now and my original experience with the machine has been really good because we have tried to use a different a lot of environments i've been using this for development as well as for video editing as i'm a content creator also so by the way do not forget to subscribe to our channel if you like our videos till now so let's get ahead so guys we do create videos and we do use it for development perspective and we have installed almost every another environment that is required for development so i've been using it for xcode flutter android studio and all other environments have been also been installed into it and even though if you run simultaneously along with one or two emulators simulators and also virtual machines the machine is really good and it holds the potential to even excel at to any kind of pressure provided to that and just to test out the entire performance that it can provide us within 16 gigabytes of a unified memory ram so we also did a stress test on this machine and by the way if you want to have a look at to that stress test the link is in the top right corner you can click up there and have a look at to that video as well for the stress test so guys my entire experience with the 16 gigabytes of ram has been really good and there had been no issues till now because i had been using this for over a month now and there had been clearly no issues for me and if i talk about upgrading this to 32 gigabytes of ram so i just don't see any scope or any reason why i should be upgrading this to 32 gigabytes and I, what i feel purposely is that most of the users just like me most of the users if you're a freelancer or if you're a content creator or if you're onto an development perspective if you look for a machine for development for next four to five years easily so the 16 gigabytes can actually serve you really well and one thing that i would really like to talk about is that do not compare the 16 gigabytes in the macbook pro with the new that are new models with any another windows machine this is something different that we get into the new macbooks because i even had a 16 gigabytes of a version of macbook pro 2018 15.6 inches i was also using that but in that i can see that there is a jump into the memory consumption as soon as we open one or two tasks but in this it manages the entire task flow very easily and we just don't know what's happening behind because we can just uh, say that it's because they have unified everything onto one single chip so that would be the reason why it's so fast and the consumption or the performance of the memory is so very good so we have also used an intel machine and we know what happens when we use any intel machine so do not compare the 16 gigabytes with any another windows machine that comes along with the 16 gigabytes of ram i would i can purely say this like if you want to compare this at least double the amount so double the amount of 16 gigabytes to 32 gigabytes to any other comparison for windows machine i can clearly say that because I had been using Windows machine into the past with 12 gigabytes of RAM or 16 gigabytes of RAM and I could never find such kind of a performance into those machines 
as I can get into the, one of these. Even I was into the same question that whether I should go along within 16 gigabytes of RAM or whether I should upgrade that to 32 gigabytes that cost me around 400 dollars more and that's pretty much intense amount of money some really expensive so guys we act we actually chose to go along with 10 16 gigabytes just to test out what with the base model performance and this served really well so i won't concede for any normal purpose users or any general purpose users but like for example even if you're a professional was working on to different development environments and large number of virtual machines so even for them i won't consider like there would be a great intensive performance increase if you just go along from 16 gigabytes to 32 gigabytes so that would be my complete comparison over here because i could not see any space or any reason where this machine actually hangs up or starts to become laggy so we have also tested this for video rendering test so we also try to video render along with do some projects on to development platforms like we can say android studio and xcode so there also it performed really good so as part of my perspective if i just bring this to a final conclusion what you should choose so for most of you 16 gigabytes is a really good performing machine and some of you might be concerned because you're asking to us a question like if i want a machine that can last for more than seven years should i go along within 16 gigabytes or upgrade this to 32 gigabytes so guys there is a perspective for this mine that i would recommend you that go along within 16 gigabytes because no one knows what the technology would be four or five years later and whether you'd be actually using the same machine or not because there are also certain things into the machine that can uh, that cannot outlast because technologies are continuously changing and by the time we reach five years later it could be something m5 processor or m7 processor who knows what it would be so ultimately do not make a decision just to upgrade a machine to an more potential if you're not actually going to use that so if you're actually going to use it if you have some large projects onto which you're going to work if you have got large files you, on which you're working like for example if you're using it for music production or for video editing if you're editing onto simultaneously onto six or seven 6k or 4k footages at to one moment of time so at that moment of time you should consider it upgrading to 32 gigabytes otherwise there's no specific reason why you should be comparing that or even upgrading that to 32 gigabytes and the 64 gigabytes is humongously huge amount of memory and, and i wouldn't recommend that for any normal purpose use until unless you're not a creator who needs that much amount of ram or memory for actually performance so you shouldn't be choosing that at least so guys this is my complete overview that for most of you 16 gigabytes would be really good because we had been testing this out and by the way if you have got any more questions any more doubts regarding this please leave that down into the comment section below we'll be happy to reply you if you liked our video please hit that like button subscribe to our channel meet you in the next episode till then goodbye